doing this video with like no makeup, no time, and simply because I feel like I should make a video with all these books I bought because otherwise I'm never ever gonna get around to it. Hi guys, it's Kales and I bought a lot of books in the month of April. I should really probably stop doing that, but it's like a sickness and I don't think it's ever really gonna stop. <laughs> There's like a lot of books that I can't really carry them all, so we're just gonna dive right in, shall we? So there's this wonderful used bookstore that's literally right down the street from my house, like within walking distance. And I go there quite often, and I like to pick up a lot of random books. A lot of books that I never had really heard of before, or ones that I just think are interesting, that I might like, that may not be on the mainstream shelves anymore. And some of these such books are The Book of Secrets by a pseudonym Bosch, synonymous Bosch. It's like a fun puzzle book with a lot of weird mysteries and things and the title alone was just interesting and then I found out it was a series and I was really excited. So I got it. Picked it up. The next books that I picked up from my used bookstore are the Sisters Grimm's book one and book two. I saw these and I was really excited that they had a book one and a book two at the used bookstore, which is a rarity that hardly ever happens. And as far as I'm concerned, it sounded really cute. So these two sisters to find out that they're descendants of the Grimm brothers and get their casebook of magical things and they sort of inherit their tellings of these stories and their adventures and must continue on the Brothers Grimm legend and it seems like a really quirky, really fascinating series that I think will be a quick and easy fun read. More from the used bookstore is the first one in the Pendragon series which this is actually a new cover. They usually have the black haired boy on them. So this is very interesting that it's this weird ring looking thing. They must have re-released them. Pendragon is about this boy named Bobby Pendragon who is swept off into this alternate world and must save the world. And the series chronicles his life from like when he's 14 until he's older. It was one of those instances where like you see the series over and over again but you can't ever get your hands on the first one. And now I have my hands on the first one. Literally. Hands all over it. I'm done now. Another fantastic book that I'm very excited to read and get my hands on was called Foundling by D.M. Cornish and it looks to be like a really interesting series. It follows this boy named Rosamond, which as they note in here is a very unfortunate boy's name as he grows up in this weird school and then eventually becomes one of Lamplighter who like defeats the world from evil and it just seems like a really interesting story and the cover had really interesting characters on it. Like a school that says Madame Opera's esteemable marine society for foundling boys and girls. Like, that is a name you cannot ignore. I'm really excited to see what adventures this book holds. The two adult books that I got from the used bookstore were P.S. I Love You to kind of complete my Cecilia Ahern collection, even though she's got more than just P.S. I Love You and Love Rosie, but those are the two I'm interested in. This one I feel like I want to have in my possession because I want to read it when I need a good cry. All I know about this book is that it's immensely sad. It follows the life of this woman whose husband dies and she goes to Ireland and he leaves her a series of letters that she follows and does adventurous things from these letters from her dead husband, which is a fascinating but terrifyingly depressing concept. Thing you should learn about me is the fact that I really like Russian history, particularly the Russian Revolution. So when this book, The Jewel of St. Petersburg by Kate Fervenal, came into my possession at the used bookstore, I was really excited. It's in Russia in 1810, 1910, I stack. Valentina is this fictional character that's in the elite society of Russia at the time. And she falls in love with a man who's a Danish an engineer who is way below her status and chaos ensues. I just was really excited because it was a dollar and it seemed really interesting and it was set in Russia during what will soon be the Russian Revolution. It sounded right up my alley. So the next book that I have um, I get at my local King Supers, which is actually my grocery store, but they sell books for like 25% off. So I go and I check that bookstore every so often for books. And some of the books that I got, one was Time Bound by Risa Walker, which I talked about buying for the cover, and which is totally true. And I talked about it in my uh, book courtship tag video. It centers around this girl named Kate who gets this medallion from her grandmother and this mysterious murder happens and she gets sent through time and I'm still obsessed with my time books and I'll explain why and there'll be more to that story in a minute but this one looks really good and it's got a glossy beautiful lovely cover yay another book that I got at my local King Supers is Rebel Bell 
I have heard nothing but good things about this book on booktube and the second one Miss Mayhem just came out and all these booktubers are getting the second one and I'm like well I might as well jump on that bandwagon and get the first one. It's about this southern belle who is really popular in high school and in one day during like a school dance or something she becomes like a paladine and gets special powers and has to fight evil which just sounds really cool everybody's raving about it so normally I'm not big on jumping on the bandwagons but this one I was like all right I can do that and the last book that I got from my local King Supers is Daring Greatly by Brene Brown which is a book on vulnerability you should watch her TED talk because it's amazing. And the reason I picked up this book because she wrote the foreword for this book, which I love so much, The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer. So I figured if I liked this book, then I should pick up this book and start reading it because that would be interesting and fascinating and a great tribute to this book, which I already love. So Daring Greatly by Brene Brown bought it. Then I'm gonna do the next three books that I got, which I got at the used book sale section of my library, are books, whoa, let's do this right, books one, three and four of the Percy Jackson series because I'm trying to recreate my actual series of these books. I had them and then I kept moving and I went to college and I we don't know where they are and so I just want my own copies. Now I just need Sea of Monsters because I already had Last Olympian if you were curious like I just needed the first four. But I have my own copies now. Woo! Then when I did go to my local library I got a stack about as big as my torso of books that I wanted to read. And so, so far, one of the only books that I've actually read from that stack is Ruby Red. This one. I loved it. A girl named Gwen lives in London, and her family, his descendants of this long time traveling secret society, and they think that her cousin Charlotte inherited the gene when, nope, lies, psych, it's actually Gwen. And Gwen goes swept, swept up in this world of time travel and learning old ways and new ways of doing this and I was hooked. It was fascinating, easy read, awesome. Wanted to continue with the series because it left me on a cliffhanger and so what did I end up doing? Ba boom Bought myself the second two in the series, the last two in the trilogy, Sapphire Blue and Emerald Green. Also, they're just really pretty glossy covers. I got these from Book Outlet, which was the first time I ever used Book Outlet and I was really glad that I did because I got the whole series for under $15. What? Bargain! Finally, last but not least, my last trip that I went and got books was at Barnes & Noble. I had gift cards to blow from Easter and I was really excited that I finally just up and went. Actually today, a couple of hours ago. Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh. Brosh? I can't tell. Is that an age? As an age. Unfortunate situations, flawed coping mechanisms, mayhem, and other things that happened. I got this book not going out intentionally to buy it, but it was one of those books that's like kind of back on my radar and I saw that it was really inexpensive at the time and I was really excited to get my hands on this book because I think it will be hilarious and heartfelt and one that I really want to read. Next on my list of books that I got while I was at Barnes & Noble is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I love this movie so much it hurts. And I've only ever actually read two and a half books by Neil Gaiman, and I say a half because I never actually finished American Gods, because I had to return it back to the library, although it was really interesting, and I do want to finish it at some point or another. I want to see actually how the brilliant Neil Gaiman wrote it, and read the story as it should be. Money well spent, in my opinion. And this book I picked up because Reagan from Peru's Project picked it up, and it was A City of Thieves by David Beninoff. And it's about these two boys who are in the middle of the Nazis regime on Leningrad and they get sent on this mission. Powerful Soviet colonel's daughter's wedding cake. It sounded fascinating from her description of it and I love Russia a lot and historical fiction a lot and so I took Reagan's advice and picked up this book on my own. Hope it is as good as it sounds. My last and final purchase was another jump on the bandwagon because I actually want to do the reading project that Polyana's Books, Jesse the Reader, and Katie Tastic are doing with Penguin Books and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir and it is their book pick for the month of May and it's been blurred by Brandon Sanderson. It does very, sound very fascinating. It follows the lives of a slave and a soldier, two kind of separate stories that eventually end up weaving together in sort of this fictional world that's very much like ancient Rome and it sounds very fascinating and I'm very excited to see how this goes. So ladies and gents, that is my April book haul. 
There were a lot of books from a lot of different locations, and I can barely carry them all. But we're gonna attempt it anyway for your entertainment viewing pleasure. I really don't think I can do this without destroying myself or the books, neither of which I want to do, so I don't I don't actually know how this is gonna work. Uh-uh. Whoop! We're almost done. Haha! -ha! I think I can get that all in a shot. Yay! Look at all the books I have! If you found any of the books that I bought interesting, or if you've read any of these and want to leave your opinions, do that in the comments below. I'm gonna put these down because they're a little heavy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Kind of like a graphic novel. Yes! Come in! Because I'm not doing anything important. What? Penny. I'm making a video! Hi, video! Thanks, Dad. Hi, video world! Woo! Mm -hmm. All right. Dog, out! Wrigley. Wrigley, go! Oh, she destroyed the duck legs. As I was saying,